Welcome, welcome. So today will be the final episode of our white, black and green token sacrifice and token generating deck. So hopefully we have a good game and give a proper send off to this deck. I know we haven't managed to give proper send off to quite a few decks, but hopefully we'll do good here. We shall see. Okay, Let's see what we got here. We got from beyond. But we only have two lands. Uh, now, do I go with this? No, I will draw a new hand. Okay, we got... I'll keep this hand. Okay. Should have probably kept the other hand, but whatever. Our Herald will allow us to play the retreats a little bit sooner, so I'm okay with it. Oh boy. We seem to be up against an Eldrazi deck. I'm extremely sick today guys, so uh, probably after this episode for the next two days or so I might not be able to release any episodes, I really need some time to recover because uh, tomorrow, even though I'm really sick, I really have to go to work and I'll have to be at work since 6 in the morning until uh, around 8 at night so because of that and because of the fact that I'm feeling really really under the weather I don't think I'll be able to release episodes so I'm very sorry about that guys they might come out a video of gameplay of kingdom but I already pre-recorded that so you know just so you guys know right before recording this episode I rec uh, I had a session of kingdom so yeah uh, really sorry about that guys and to whoever's watching these episodes you know thank you guys very much i really appreciate the support i you know it makes me truly happy knowing that you guys are watching this and you guys can actually enjoy this so to whoever's watching and whoever's out there thank you very much you guys really make my day and you actually make uh holds much more bearable because uh thanks to you guys i've been enjoying magic the gatherings way way more than before when i was playing all by myself so yeah okay our opponent most likely will swing with both of the drones. Let's see. Oh, wow. He just chooses to skip. That's even better for us. Okay, then. So let's play the retreat here. Uh, okay. Whew. I actually got scared there for a second. So I will not do anything just yet. I'll play the second retreat. Hmm. Now, do I want to play the second retreat? No. I'll play the Shambling Vent. Uh, let's put the ally creature. So yeah, I'll play the empty Siege of the Empty Throne, then retreat to Maria. That would make more sense. So let's skip this turn. Okay, Artificer's Epiphany. Do these count as artifacts? They do not. So you will have to sacrifice. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay then. Well, it makes sense why he would sacrifice it. After all, he only does have three mana. Okay, then. Yeah, Sigil of the MC Throne is going to be really scary on our opponent here. Okay, so on the construct. I somewhat dislike this card because, you know, What's the point of having a card which can't attack alone and for one mana, 2-1, not really worth it in my opinion. Okay, let's play the Sigil of the MC Throne here. He gain some life. There we go. Next up will follow up this retreat. Okay, let's keep this attack for now. So yeah, we'll follow this up with the retreat and hopefully we draw into the land so we can get two tokens. That'll be quite nice. Okay, let's see, there is also Brute Butcher. Hmm, Necromantic Summons. What will our opponent get? Oh my god. Holy crap, that is... That is genius! That is absolutely genius, guys. Oh my god. Okay, so... Huh. Very interesting. Our opponent swings with all. Um, let's block this. Let's block this. Let's confirm the block. Wow. Having such a deck isn't that bad, really. Oh 
Oh my god. Uh, it is really impressive, I gotta say. I'm just speechless here. What an impressive deck. Okay then. So, let's play the retreat here. Gain some life. Play Sun Petal Grove. And generate enough tokens here to ensure we can uh, withstand Ulamog's uh, assault. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I'm not swinging with anything just yet. Well, Shambling went has a lifelink, so that'll help us gain some life there too. Jeez. That was completely unexpected. This will be a really fun game. What gets there sooner? Our Angel? Okay, so cards get... Oh yeah, I forgot that Ulamo can actually get rid of a bunch of cards we got. And he's indestructible. I gotta figure out what this indestructible actually does mean. Uh, can't be destroyed. Whoa. Okay, so we cannot destroy this. I'm not too happy about this. He is going to mill us to death completely and thoroughly. Crap. Okay, let's play the Gilgate. Let's put more tokens here. Jeez. Okay, so let's think about this. Fruit Butcher, Carrier Thrall. Well, we can do Carrier Thrall. We can do the magic. And we'll swing with the angel, I guess. Oh, really? Okay, that's just adding uh, insult to an injury. Okay, so we swing for four. Oof. Okay. The one thing I gotta figure out is what you do about this whole uh, indestructible. I've never really had to deal with it in Magic the Gathering, so I'm not too sure about how it's being handled and all. Okay, he swings with all. We just block this. Come on. There we go. The uh, rest of it will just let through. Can't do much about it anyway. Okay. From beyond. Oh boy. Yep, this is game, guys. We have Necromatic Summons too. But we can't bring his all mode now, can we? Ah, oh, come on, this is a joke. Okay. Well, let's swing with all here. There we go. How much damage will we do? Bringing him down to six. And we're dead. Okay, well, this has been a very interesting start to our uh, token deck. There we go, all of our cards are gone. Might as well just block this. Not take the damage. Okay, so... We're done, guys. Let's see. Okay, and we're down to level 1 now. And that's it. Okay, this has been game number 1. I'll see you guys very shortly in game number 2. And we're back. So, game number 2, token sacrifice. Let's hope we do better than game number 1. Because our opponents seem to have had luck and really good deck structure on their side. Okay, then. Both of us are level 1. Okay. We have two lands only. So, yeah, let's draw a new hand. Still two lands. Let's keep this hand. Doesn't seem like we're too lucky today about uh, drawing good lands, eh? Well, it's okay. We have Vampiric Crates, which we'll play. And we'll follow it up with the Road Shambler, most likely. Or Shadows of the Past. 
Okay. Santel Hug. This seems vaguely familiar, I'll be honest. Okay. And Celestia Gilgate. There we go. So next up we'll definitely do the Road Shambler. Yeah, I played against Santa Hawk. Oh yeah, that was in an Eldrazi deck yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Or something like that. I don't quite remember that well. Okay, so two damage. We go down to 18 now. And Road Shambler will come out. What is this picture anyway? So, there we go. So, let's play the Canopy Vista for now. Let's play, well, Road Shambler and Canopy Vista. The reason why I don't want to play Fertile Thicket just yet, it just doesn't make sense to play Fertile Thicket uh, when you have other lands because the ability of Fertile Thicket is to put a land on top of your library. So we're okay in terms of lands and all, so I'm okay here. So. We are taking another 2 damage. Let's see if our opponent is mana screwed. I think he is mana screwed, so at least we've got that much going for us. Excellent. Now, let's play the retreat here. Huh. Interesting. Okay, and let's do fertile ticket. Each player loses one life and I gain one life. I like that option very much. There we go. Yes, I'd like to trigger this ability. And we didn't have any basic lands. Actually, that makes sense because our deck doesn't really have any basic lands. So it's okay. We pass the turn. Okay. Next up, I'll most likely put out Shadow of the Past. And once I do so, I'll swing with Sword Shambler. Okay, so 3 damage, going down to 14 now. The damage is slowly starting to pile up on us. Okay, and another Santel Hawk. Holy crap! This is very interesting deck, he's got the... Okay, so... Let's play the Golgari Guildgate. Yep. Let's do this. Let's do Shadows of the Past. And let's swing with the Rochambler. See if our opponent blocks. He most likely will, I hope. Wow, he does not. Okay then. That's fine by us. Okay, so next, this turn we'll be taking 4 damage, and we'll go down to 11 here. No good. Gotta start drawing into something meaningful. Wondering if I should do Vampiric Rites or not, with Road Shambler. Oh boy. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I like this. Plus 1, plus 1, gains Vigilance. Uh, each opponent loses one life and I gain one life. Okay. I'm not attaching Necromantic Thirst to this, nope. Let's continue. Okay, and we will swing. Our opponent will most definitely block with this. Doing so will get two triggers of the Shadows of the Past and hopefully get something what the hell? Okay, our opponent doesn't even do that much. Okay then. Nimbus wings. Oh no. You've gotta be kidding me. Now he's swinging for 7 damage, bringing us down to 5. Jeez. Okay, let me just... Whoa. 
Very interesting. Let me just do this. Yep. Let's put this on the bottom. We don't need more lands. And let's draw a land. I mean, draw a card. Eyeless Watcher. Ah, still not what we wanted. Hmm, Zendikar's Royal is not bad. Eyeless Watcher is even better. Because this gives us something to sacrifice. Okay, so he can do only 7 damage next turn. We can sacrifice one of these guys. And doing so, we will go back up to 8 life, which is good. Okay, let's go. I might even sacrifice too. Okay, let's try to make this last as long as possible. Nimbus wings. Yep, we're dead. Oh, hold on, hold on. Not quite. Okay, I would like to sacrifice this. And uh, this is the mana that I'm willing to tap. Let's put this on the bottom. Crap, I cannot sacrifice more. I'm out. 8 life. He's gonna swing exactly for 8 here. Yep. There we go. Okay, guys. Well, this has been game number 2. Here's to hoping that game number 3 is going to be wonderful. And we're back for the final episode and final game for this wonderful, wonderful, funky deck that is highly ineffective and it's not really that great, but I've enjoyed it. Thankfully our opponent is also level 1, just like us, so let's hope he's a newbie. Okay, we've got from beyond here, we've got 3 lands, I'll keep this hand. That's more lands that we usually get in this deck. So let's play out Golgari Gilgate. Oops. And we pass the turn to our opponent. Hopefully in uh, two more turns or three more turns we'll draw another land so we can play from beyond. And it's a uh, Eldrazi deck of sorts it seems. Okay. I'll most definitely be playing Isolated Chapel now. Chapel. There we go. So next turn, Serene Steward comes out, then double Mortuary Mire, and uh, we'll do From Beyond. And follow that up with Alice Watcher, most likely. Okay. Our opponent is green, blue, and black. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, best thing is I like the Syrian Steward's ability, the plus one plus one counter overflow. Hopefully we'll get to the point where we can use the ability. Okay, we're down to 19 now. Hmm, another Golgari Gilgate. I like that. Let's play the Golgari Gilgate here. Come on. Wow, the game seems to be a little bit slow today, not sure why. Okay, jeez. Okay, a bit unresponsive, and we pass the turn. Excellent. Yeah, as you guys see, even passing the turns, the game's really, really slow. I wonder why. It cannot be internet connection, I'm connected pretty well, so I'm not sure what it is. Okay. And uh, if you guys have watched this far, thank you very much for watching. You guys truly make my day. And. Uh, Additionally, you know, sorry that this game suck a little bit, my cold has gotten a little bit, you know, a bit too much, so I think I might be taking two days off just to rest and recover. Unfortunately, I still have to go to work in those two days, but eh, what can you do? Such is work, bills aren't gonna pay themselves, right? <laughs> okay, so we'll pass the turn. There we go. Next up from beyond comes out, and then Alice Watcher. I 
thing that sucks is the infiltrator can't be blocked and does have ingestibility if I'm not mistaken. Now what does this do? Pilgrim's Eye. Hmm, not bad, not bad. Okay, and our opponent's name here is Esgoter Chu. Whatever, one Chu, whatever that means. So yeah. Okay. I'm not too happy about this. Seems like our opponent is getting a bit out of hand here. Well, we'll let this one through too. There we go. And the card gets exiled. And it was a land, which is good. We've got far too many lands. Don't need any more. Oh boy. Oh boy. Do I even want to bother with the From Beyond when I have this? Hmm. We gotta think about this. He's got a lot of cards there. We have to start blocking. Huh. Gosh. What you do, guys? Hmm, what do we do? What do we do? Okay, let's do from beyond first. We need some token generation. It is necessary to us. There it is. Okay, we'll play the mire. Just so we have more... Uh, and it's okay. That's it, and... See, this is what I'm talking about. The game is a little bit frozen. It doesn't seem to be uh, moving along too well. Okay, we skip the turn, we go on. So we'll be able to do Syrian Steward and Stonehaven Magic combo in two turns. Just gotta survive that long. Okay, so I presume our opponent will swing with those three with a threat of pumping this up. Okay, I guess. Okay, so he only swings with those two. He could have easily swung with this, and I wouldn't have blocked it because he can pump it out twice, thus making it 3 3. Okay, then, so we take two damage. That's not bad at all. There we go, more cards discarded, and what did we discard here? Brute Butcher, okay. Eyeless Butcher comes out. And two tokens. Okay, here we go. We gotta start pulling off combos here. Shambling went. That is good. So let's play the magic first. Jeez, the game is really slow. Not sure what's happening here. Let's play the shambling went. Come on. And eyeless watcher. It is going to use up this skion, but we will gain two more skions, so it's okay. Yeah, I do not understand why, but the game is really lagging behind. But it seems like it will be a really good send-off for our deck. Our opponent seems to have very, very similar deck to ours. Okay, so there we go. If you guys have any suggestions of how I can improve my gameplay though, do leave a comment and let me know. Or if you don't want to leave a comment, just send me a message. That will make me quite happy too. Also to all the people who are watching me from Malaysia, thank you very much. You guys have been very supportive and I do love your comments. So, shout out to you guys. Okay, let's see. One thing I do know, I know in Malaysia there is a lot of uh, Running Man fans, so yeah, I do watch it seldom whenever I have time, it's quite fun show. Okay, will our opponent swing this all? Let's see. Nope, just two damage at a time. We are fine with that. Okay. So next turn we can start triggering the combo. So he's just doing two damage to us, which is fine. We'll, we're gaining more life than that. Okay. Let's see what we draw into here. Hopefully it's something good. Hopefully. Hmm. 
other hand, what one can do is take the shambling went and gain some life. Well, this will depend on what we draw. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, first, let's trigger the combo. We gain one life. Come on. There we go. One life gain. We choose Alice Watcher to get 1 1 counter. And yes, we will pay up. Next up, we'll put another Stonehaven Metic. There we go. And I'm thinking of playing Mortuary Mire here. There we go. Okay. We're not doing too bad, I think. Let's go. So now we have enough light for the Sigil of the Empty Throne. But I can't find... Uh, you know, I can't justify playing it just yet. Okay. So now we can pull off the combo twice and start giving uh, tokens everywhere. Everyone gets a token. It's get, you know, buy one, get one free token. <laughs> okay. See what our opponent does. He's level one, so... It's kind of noticeable, the quality of his gameplay isn't the best one. And, well, he's only doing 2 damage to us at a time, which is kind of pointless now that we'll be gaining 2 life back every single time. Oh, there we go. He finally chose to do more damage. So, I will just use a token, Skion, and block it. There we go. He, he will be able to pump it up twice, so until I got creatures with enough tokens on, I'm not going to be blocking the Sludge Crawler. I think it's called Sludge Crawler, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it is. Well, he ended up sacrificing it for absolutely no good reason. Okay, then. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That really shot out too far. Let's see, what is this? Wow, very interesting. So we gotta do something about this now. It's, it's in a, we're in danger territory right now. I'm not liking my chances. Okay. So let's gain one life. Let's put a token on Alice Watcher. Yep, I'll pay up. I'll play the sandstone bridge here. Come on. There we go. And we give this creature vigilance, I guess. Makes no difference, really. There we go. Okay, we don't have enough white mana just yet. We can gain one more life. Do we do so? Okay. So let's gain one life. There we go. And then we pass the turn. Excellent. So now we've got 4-4. Four, four. Next turn is going to be 6-6 six, six, and then 8-8. Eight, eight. That's uh, scaring deathless behemoth to death. <laughs> okay, come on, continue. And let's keep the attack. continue yeah the game is becoming really really unresponsive here that's no good okay this is such a great last game for the token deck we've got a really good opponent everything's really good and fun what okay so we'll sacrifice another Oh, okay, now he's making more sense. Okay, so uh, let's block this. And let's block this. W wait, booster pod is not unblockable? What are you talking about? Ah, oh, jeez, come on. Select. Block. Oh, finally. 
sorry about that guys again the game is lagging behind i think there is something going on with the wizards of the coast servers <sighs> okay so there we go two damage is done to us okay let's gain some more life shall we oh no another team now this is scary well not as scary because we have eyeless watcher on our side okay excellent so we can either do two sigils or we can gain double life let's gain life let's give this plus one plus one it does not matter how i want to tap my mana okay this gets plus one plus one next turn his turn will be able to sacrifice two of our skions to block his behemoth twice and then afterwards let's gain some more life yeah and afterwards our eyeless watcher should be big enough to at least get rid of one of the behemoths okay so it becomes five five next turn it will be a seven seven easily dealing with behemoths there we go so let's continue and let's skip our attack turn for now okay and pass the turn after when this becomes 7-7 seven, seven, i will most likely be thinking of getting a sigil of empty throne twice out there thus enabling us to get first angel and if we do draw into more enhancements two angels at a time and then we can start doing uh triggering the combos giving tokens to the angels and then our opponent will be done for okay so let's see what he chooses to do here swings with that with that and two behemoths excellent i knew he'd make a wise choice there okay there we go block and block and let's confirm the block okay my biggest fear at this point is that i will run out of memory on my memory card this is such a wonderful game and running out of memory is not gonna be making me too happy okay so we're going to get a ski on. I'm going to trigger this twice. Alice Watcher get becomes seven seven, thus being able to deal with behemoths. Hopefully we draw into some more lands. Excellent. So we play the lands. We gain one life. We gain one life here too. Uh, okay. I guess we can't. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that guys, I'm just rushing a little bit. The server slowness is annoying me and the, another thing that's scaring me a little bit is whether or not I'll be able to, I'll run out of memory or not, yeah. Okay, so let's gain some more life. Come on, I would like to gain life. Okay, good. Put the token here and pay up. There we go. So now we got a 7-7. Seven, seven. And then afterwards we'll do Sigil, Sigil. Okay, so let's pass the turn. Skip attack. And pass the turn. Okay. Hopefully we don't run out of memory here. Hopefully. Let's see what happens. Ah, jeez, and my fever is acting up too. Okay, okay. He is too hoping for the best. Okay, so let's declare those blockers, shall we? Block. And block. And let's confirm. He has a pump-up spell. Oh damn. What? 
is going to happen here. The Titan's presence destroy my 7-7. Seven, seven? It does, does it not? Oh damn. Okay then. We're still okay. We'll survive through this, guys. Or maybe not. It remains to be seen what we draw into next. Okay. Oh no. Minus three, minus three. There we go. Our life savior has been destroyed. Okay. I'm terribly sorry guys for, you know, another loss, it's three losses in a row, but unfortunately I feel so sick. If I have time, I will try to revisit this deck and create a bonus episode, but right now I'm just so exhausted, I'd like some sleep and, well, tomorrow I gotta work, wake up and go to work at 6 in the morning, so, sorry about that guys. Okay, let's play the Canopy Vista. Let's play the sigil. There we go. So we got double sigil. Just so you guys know, I'm not giving up just yet. I think we can pull through. Let's keep this attack. If we somehow end up uh, drawing into an enhancement next turn, then that just means we'll get two angels. And oh crap, I spoke too soon. Ain't nothing gonna be saving us now. So let's go and become exiled. Okay, then. Well, guys, we're done for. Yep, I'm just surprised why he won't swing with everything, but uh. Okay, okay, there you go, now he's making more sense there, excellent. Okay guys, well, again, I'm terribly sorry, I'm just really exhausted right now, so yeah, thank you so much. Okay, wait, our opponent's doing something here. I guess we just block this, we block this. And we block this. I gotta say, it's quite weird, but... Hey, I ain't gonna be complaining here. Okay, so we take one damage for now. Next turn, Olamog is gonna be swinging at us with his full force. So, there is that. Yeah, I'm not giving up just yet. Who knows? What we draw into? Necromantic Thirst. That's not so bad. Let's do this. Who do we bring back though? Do we bring back Stonehaven Metic? Maybe? Okay, now let's think this through. He's going to be swinging with Olamonk and these two guys. Uh, okay. Let's go into attack phase. Let's swing. There we go. Confirm attack. Yeah. I will bring back my Stonehaven Magic here. He's blocking with a flyer. I should have realized that. And I should have taken care of that flyer previous turn. Okay, so now we're done for. Okay then, guys. So, anyways. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I'm sorry that it was not too great. I will. I promise you I'll try to do some kind of a bonus deck bonus episode one game where I really show off this deck to its full strength okay uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode bye